Our reaction to the high court's decision to strike down affirmative action in college admissions coming in from the White House and those seeking the White House in 2024. White House correspondent Owen Jensen has more. Owen. Tracy, former Vice President Mike Pence says he is pleased with the ruling, writing in a statement, quote, there is no place for discrimination based on race in the United States. However, President Biden sees it much differently. He said he strongly, strongly disagrees with the court's decision. Reacting to the Supreme Court's ruling, President Joe Biden goes before cameras in the Roosevelt Room. Today, the court once again walked away from decades of precedent. The president delivered a speech that was quickly added to his schedule after he learned of the court's decision, saying, we need a higher education system that works for everyone. Discrimination still exists in America. Today's decision does not change that. After, the president went to New York to be interviewed by MSNBC and attend more campaign fundraisers. At a campaign event in Chicago yesterday, he once again called for codifying the abortion rulings in Roe v. Wade. But one presidential candidate has a new ad that aims to protect life in the womb. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, the radio ad's narrator, reminds listeners, helped Roe get tossed. Scott has a 100 percent pro-life voting record, and he fought to put three new conservative justices on the Supreme Court, sending Roe v. Wade to the ash heap of history. And in the senator's own words. As president, I will sign the most pro-life legislation that reaches my desk. Our immediate priority should be passing a national 15-week limit on abortion while we support Republican-led states that do even more to protect life. The senator's campaign says the ad will be heard on Christian radio in Iowa. In it, he also slammed the current administration. The Biden liberals support abortion up until the moment of birth. I'm running for president to stop their radical agenda and create a culture of life in America. Now, back to the high court's affirmative action decision. Presidential candidate Nikki Haley also happy with it, writing, quote, picking winners and losers based on race is fundamentally wrong. And former President Donald Trump wrote, this is a great day for America. We're going back to all merit-based, and that's the way it should be. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.